Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, it is Valentine's Day and I decided to show you all what I made my Valentine for breakfast. I made scrambled eggs and I added in some shredded cheddar cheese and also these fried onions. I have been doing this for years. I love um, eggs with onions and cheese, but I don't always have fresh onions. These are a great substitute. Just add in as much as you want. They do get soft when you cook them. And then I also made some smoked sausage. And I have this in my freezer, just fried it up in the skillet. And then my cinnamon roll hearts I made out of Grand's cinnamon rolls. Um, and the easiest way to make these is to actually form them on the pan that you're baking them on. If you try to do them like on a baking mat and then move them over to a pan, it, they just it's just hard. Um, so anyway, this is what we are having for breakfast today and I'll see you guys at dinner. Hey guys, so it's still Valentine's Day and I am taking some video out of our front door and we got snow here in Texas, which is a rarity. So originally Howard was going to go grab some food for us for Valentine's Day. And with the roads and weather like it is, he um, is not, we thought it was best that he not go out. So we are going to cook dinner tonight. We are going to have some shrimp um, fettuccine and I don't know what else will come up to go with the fettuccine, but um, I will show you what we come up with. So here is what we came up with for our Valentine's Day dinner. I sauteed some green beans in um, grapeseed oil and garlic, and these are the green beans that I used out of my freezer. And then I made some fettuccine alfredo, and here it is on the plate. I just sauteed some garlic in a couple of tablespoons of butter. Then I added in um, heavy whipping cream and half and half because I didn't have enough heavy whipping cream. And then, um, and I added some Parmesan cheese and then I added in my fettuccine and then Howard sauteed some shrimp and this is what he used. We had some shrimp in our freezer. He used some Slap Ya Mama and some Tony Sasseries. So this is our Valentine's Day dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making chili and this is the chili kit that I am using. This is what my mom used to make when I was growing up. So I've just used it always as an adult as well. So I love this chili kit because it comes with all the different spices and then you can personalize it for your family's taste. Um, to my chili, I'm going to use these turkey burgers that I had in my freezer that I need to use up. I'm gonna use that. I'm also going to add some mild chili beans and some diced tomatoes. So let me show you on the back what this recipe calls for. It calls for two pounds of ground beef, and I usually use one pound of ground beef, never two, and then I get my other protein from a can of beans, but this time, like I said, I'm gonna be using turkey that I need to use up. And instead of tomato sauce, I'm gonna be using the diced tomatoes. I never put tomato sauce in my chili, I just don't. I also don't add two full cups of water, I add less than that. And this particular kit comes with masa. I never use that because I use the beans. Um, I just dump the whole can in and it thickens up the chili the way that masa would. So let me get started on this chili and then I will show you our plates. Okay, so here is our chili. This is Howard's bowl and he eats his with rice. Then he's got the chili on top, some avocado and cheddar cheese. This is my bowl and I have um, Fritos on the bottom with chili and cheese. If I had some onions, I would have added them too. How do you guys eat your chili? I've never grown up eating it with rice, so this is something new for me. We normally just eat ours with corn chips and cheese. And then I decided to make a dessert. So I had this in my cabinet. I really love Krusty's mixes, their cookie mixes, their pancake mixes, really good. So I decided to make a really quick peach crisp. So I had a 
um, can of peach um, pie filling, so I use that. And here is the crisp. All you do is add some butter to that and you just put it on top of your either fresh peaches or your canned peaches. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we are having Cajun style wings from Walmart. And here is what the bag looks like. I made them in my air fryer. And I feel like these wings take longer to get crispy in the air fryer than other wings. And it comes with a dry rub. Here's what's left over. I only use half a package. I feel like this is pretty salty. So if we were to use the entire package, it would be way, way, way too salty. So here are the leftover wings in a bowl. And then here is our plate. Well, Howard's plate, mine's on the table. Um, but here are the wings and they're really good. They have a good flavor. And I also made some sweet corn and some macaroni and cheese. So the sweet corn is from Sam's. I bought a big bag of corn from Sam's and then they came in individual little bags. So I just cooked it on the stove top with some butter and salt. And then this is the macaroni and cheese that I am using. I have been doctoring up this particular style of macaroni and cheese for a while. So all I do is cook it according to package directions and then when it's finished, I add in a half a cup of sour cream and then a half a cup to a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, stir it up. I put it in an eight by eight casserole dish and then I top it with more cheddar cheese. Then I bake it until it's golden brown, probably 20 to 25 minutes. So it's a quick and easy way to doctor up your macaroni and cheese when you don't feel like making homemade baked macaroni and cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. So we are having KFC bowls for dinner tonight. So at the very bottom of the bowl, we've got some homemade mashed potatoes and then I've got some buttered kernel corn. Got some chicken gravy, cheese, and we're having popcorn chicken. So this is a chicken gravy that I make that I made very easy. Just a cup of water in the gravy mix, and then the popcorn chicken I made in my air fryer. I had it in my freezer. It is the Kirkwood brand from Aldi. So a quick and simple meal tonight, using up stuff that we already have. So KFC bowls are what's for dinner tonight. Hey guys, I am trying out a new roast recipe for dinner tonight. I'm actually gonna be using some beef shanks because I had them in my freezer and wanted to use them. But I've got my crock pot, I've got them in my crock pot. To it, I'm adding a package of Hidden Valley Ranch uh, seasoning mix and you're just supposed to sprinkle that over. And I'm adding a package of Italian um, dressing. and a package of brown gravy mix. And then you're supposed to add one cup of water. Um, I don't think I'm gonna add any water. I normally don't add water when I'm making roast. I just let it make its own juices. So pop that in there and then I'm gonna cover this and cook this for eight hours and uh, hopefully it turns out well. So see you guys when it's done. All right, so here is the beef shanks. And about 30 minutes after I turned on the crock pot, I remembered that I forgot to put the onion in, so I sliced it up and threw it in there. So I'm serving it over some jasmine rice, uh, leftover green beans from Valentine's Day, and then I just made some jiffy cornbread to go with it. I was afraid that the meat was going to be too salty, but it's not. Howard and I tried it, and he's definitely more sensitive to salt than I am, and he didn't think it was salty either. It just has a really good flavor. So here it is in the crock pot. If you remember, I didn't add any um, water to it and um, there's a lot of juice in there and it came from of course the meat and then probably the onions too but i would definitely make this recipe again so now i have two favorites i have this one and then i have the mississippi pot roast that i love so anyway this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time